what this is demonstrating is why functional biomarkers are important in atherosclerosis. And it also tries to explain why plaque tends to develop around the bifurcation, where the branch happens. What we're seeing here is one cardiac cycle simulation of blood flow through the carotid bifurcation. What happens is when flow reaches a, a branch point, it splits like this. When it splits in the inner walls, you actually get high shear stress. Basically, you have a, a force that is, that is acting against the surface, tangentially to the surface of the vessel wall. So essentially rubbing against the surface, and the higher that force, the higher the shear. On the other side, there's actually low shear, and there has been a very long debate about which side is actually causing the atherosclerosis, high shear or low shear. In the early stages of the disease, you actually develop the plaque in the areas of low shear. And one of the reasons for that is that in the low shear, you actually have a longer transit time for diffusion into the vascular wall. This is flow as a function of cross-section. This is the center of the vessel. Along the radius, you actually have different levels of flow. The red is the highest flow. As you go down to the wall, you're getting lesser and lesser velocity. So this is the shape of the velocity distribution inside the lumen. This is a, a simulation using a mathematical model where you can actually simulate the disease and try to think about which biomarkers can I use. And then you can uh, develop an imaging strategy. So how can I image it? Well, looks like maybe I should image it right around here. People would have maybe imaged right in the center on this wall versus that wall before the bifurcation or after. This pretty much nails it down.